Oh, hi and welcome back to CES 2020. I'm here at the Pimax booth and I'm going to bring you the best coverage from CES 2020 here according with about VR and AR. So now I'm going to try out something very interesting that lots of people are probably super interested in. By the way, this is Reviver. Hello guys. And uh, check out his channel. <laughs> Uh, welcome. <laughs> so, uh, so um, I'm here now to test out the new flagship model again from Pimax, the Pimax 8KX. But this time, I'm going to try uh, a racing game because lots of people actually in the forum they want not yeah. to see the, the the flight simulator, right? Indeed. They want they wanted to see something more meaty or yes. something different, right? Especially a lot of people in here are actually asking for they, a they racing, simulator. Ra racing simulator. Yeah. So. Now the Pimax guys have said, of course, of course we can show this, and you're showing now Assetto Corsa. Yeah, and let me just go through the settings here. It's yep. Assetto Corsa, uh, the first version, of course. Um, it's running in uh, SteamVR Super Sampling 100%. It's Pi Tool render quality at 1.25. It's large field of view, uh, so the maximum 170 degrees uh, horizontally, and there's no parallel projection. And it's running in 75 hertz or 75 frames per second, fully. Uh, Smooth. Okay, cool. I will see that now. It's supposed <laughs> to do that. Let's see, let's see. And the sound is on, of course. The sound is on, okay. So, trying out Pimax 8KX with Assetto Corsa now. Okay, let's see. And you should also... We're sent to your view and it's yeah. here. Yeah, okay. You should also hear something from the audio. Yeah, when the game starts, the audio will... will I, hear, I do hear, I do hear some audio. Okay. And, uh, okay, let me just put this... Okay, I'm going to give you my, my first impressions here. So this is like the full details are on right now in Assetto Corsa, it or...? Just, just look straight. Yeah. Okay. Yes, okay, perfect. Yeah, okay. Just the game back? Okay. And I'm gonna just restart the... Uh, yes, session. please. The racing track is Spa. Spa, okay, no problem. Okay. And here we go. Yeah. Okay, first of all, I have to comment again on, on, the, on lots of things right now. So first of all, again, uh, the comfort is, is amazing. Okay, my driving skills are not so amazing. But that's not about this. So um, let me just tell you, the comfort is truly amazing. I told this uh, a couple of times to you already. The balance, I, I, I could play this now for hours, I'm sure, without having to to stop because it's so comfortable. Um, then, um, yeah, it, it looks it looks incredibly smooth. It looks super smooth. So. Um, Probably, um, Martin, are you still here? Yes. Okay. I actually uh, have to add that we have some frame drop here, down to 74 frames. Okay, 70. Okay, the one, the, f the one, frame. the one frame, I, I didn't miss it. <laughs> I must say. So I can tell, I can tell everybody out there on the screens, it is smooth. It looks perfectly smooth. How about the distortion? We're running this uh, on the maximum large field of view. Okay, oh, I didn't even know that you're playing it on the large one. Let me, yeah, you know, okay, just before you said anything, I didn't even think about distortions. I don't see them. So I, 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 I believe it's greatly improved over the, the headsets before. Martin, how did how did that happen? It's a smaller it's a smaller display, right? And you yeah. changed you changed the lens profile. Is it correct? Yes, the 4K RGB uh, displays or panels are a, a half uh, inch smaller. They, they are five uh, inches, I think, instead of five and a half. So the distortion profile has had to be remade from scratch, basically. And uh, Robin has been working a lot with the team to make it happen, and they, they actually succeeded to make it way better than before. Oh, it's not man. perfect, I have to add, it's not perfect. There's still some distortion, of course. Yeah, but it's very, very difficult to get rid of that. Unless but it's, it's, way, it's way better. I can tell people out there it's way better. Like now, like moving the head like this, on the other headsets that I have at home, it's, you will see it way more. Yeah. And even on those, it was acceptable after a while. But here, I believe you can put anyone inside and they won't uh, tell you, oh, yeah. it's, there's distortion, no. So it's that. gravy added. It's it's so much better now. Yeah, I have to add that the comfort kit, uh, which was uh, one of uh, Kevin's idea actually, uh, he he came.
came up with this. They they've been working on this comfort kit for like six months or something or five okay. months. Okay. And this comfort kit not only improves the comfort, but it also corrects the distance between the, the lenses and your eyes. Right. It's way easier to find your distance. It's uh, because a lot of people have been using extra foams and stuff in between. Just, just to get the correct distance, and now they don't need to. Okay, they yeah. You can fit glasses inside. The comfort. Most of the glasses. I, I'm not talking about like huge glasses like this, but but most of the glasses. Uh, here's Robin, by the way, the CEO. Hello, Robin. Alex. I'm I'm live now, <laughs> talking about your 8KX and the Corsa. <laughs> yeah, he's very busy, so he's just running around here. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, so, so this distortion profile is improved. Okay, yeah, I can I'm not tell. Saying it's perfect. No, but it's it's but it's really better than before. That's for sure. And I don't think any anyone would uh, like put this on and complain to you. I think the people would just say like, "Wow, this looks better than any other headset. This has a, like a wide field of view." So yeah, this is really good. The GPU is uh, RTX 2080 Ti. Uh, it's a powerful computer, of course. It's actually not overclocked uh, because we're running into some problems with overclocking, specifically this uh, and some other computer here in this book. So this is actually like stock frequencies, which are quite high from start, like okay. 1800 megahertz or something. The CPU is like uh, i7 uh, 9900K, I think it is. So this is a beast of a computer, of course. Okay. We're basically running this with a resolution which is way higher than the standard one. It's, I mean, it's a Pi tool render point 1.25 and large field of view. So it's a massive resolution. Right, right, I get it. So, um, what um, if, uh, if people who don't have an RTX 2080 Ti would play this, like my 1080 Ti at the moment, right? I can uh, tell you what, what kind of frame, frame rates would I get with that? I can tell you that on my laptop, on my, one of my laptops, which are a 1070, GDX 1070 laptop, it's uh, running with a normal field of view and SteamVR super sampling at 100%. There's no problem running this simulator in 90 frames per second. Okay. If you have any kind of problems with 90 frames per second, you can always decrease it to 72 and even bump up. Okay, I got it. So, but so the 1070 is okay. enough, at least for this simulator. This All right. Set of so. so let me tell the people a bit more about the, the, the graphical fidelity and everything that I see. It looks amazing. <laughs> people will love the ATX. I know it already. The comfort and uh, how everything looks. And I know people would ask me, um, uh, uh, what is the difference between the x uh, the next generation x and this? And yesterday when I tried the x I said like, okay, the, the, the picture on the x looks even better, even better than this. But I must also say that the scale yeah. looks much better here. Yeah. So the scale is right here. So everything looks like the right size, like my arms and my, my, my legs look like the right size. But for the x unfortunately, the scale is not right and things look smaller yeah. than, than, than the actual reality. Have you also seen that, Marin? Yeah, yeah, I know yes, you have. Yes, yes, yes. So, there is something with the scale, but they're still correcting it. Yeah, they are, I'm sure they're going to fix it, but at the moment, they, there's something that they have to work on. Yeah. So, yeah, I would say yes, but, but this, is, this picture here is so clear and so amazing. I gotta tell you, uh, there was one uh, one of your uh, viewers actually who asked about VRSS. There was a new driver released yesterday. From I know. Nvidia I know. With, uh, which adds VRSS support for like 20 games or something. Yes. I do not think that a set of course is included in, okay. that, in that list. Okay. But we have Boneworks, for example, and later today we will update uh, with the new drivers. So people can uh, try out uh, with the VRSS, especially with uh, Boneworks, maybe some other games as well. We're running Boneworks on the, one of the ATXs on the other side of the table. Okay. Here there's no uh, VRSS, and I have not tried it yet, so... Okay. Yeah. okay and I, can, I just want to tell also the viewers that this is buttery smooth now. So I, I really don't think that people uh, would say, okay, this is not buttery smooth if they're in the thing. Even when they're like seasoned, seasoned players, this... This looks amazing. Yeah. I gotta do some promotion here also. If you have not for MRTV or no no no, no. <laughs> well that as well. <laughs> if you are coming to see, yes, you should check out the 8KX together with the Yaw. I will. Simulator. I will try. It. I'm going to go there now after this. Yeah. Uh, it's good. Yeah yeah yeah. Sebastian is going to try it in another video here. It's super awesome. It's a VR coaster uh, simulator. Okay. And it's super nice. And as I told you yesterday. 
uh, probably in one of your streams, right? So yeah, yeah, I think yeah. That this your VR is uh, runs with a GDX 1070. Yeah, I'm going to try it later, man. And, I'm looking and forward to that. 8KX and it's super smooth. Okay. In, uh, 75 frames per second. Okay. Full resolution. That's nice. 100% Steam VR, uh, 1.0 uh, Pi tool and uh, normal field here. Okay, so, so check it out if you I will, I will, I will do it next, next, the next thing. I will show them. I was talking to your audience actually. Not okay, not too bad. <laughs> okay, let me tell the audience a bit more now. I know the audience they want to know about uh, the audio, how it sounds. So this is the the normal uh, modular audio strap, and uh, the audio it comes from like two speakers that, which are um, above my ear, going down. So yeah. Um, like uh, yesterday I tried a bit of held splits and I could hear like the swords like the connecting which was like a very high um, high high pitched um, audio and now I can hear like the motor noise right and um, for that I must say I'm not really impressed by that it depends what I'm, I'm it's I'm like a little bit, it's like it's really like okay it's, for me now it sounds more like a like a cheap um, a cheap Chinese uh, little speaker without its own uh, driver it, it doesn't sound good I wouldn't it sounds okay there's something coming out but like like right now I don't I, I wouldn't yeah 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 that's better yeah that's better but that's better with the other audio but but like like it's like now you know you have such a nice you have such a nice gr graphical fidelity you have such a really amazing comfort and I know you you don't want to have this audio here right now you want to have you want to have real cans you want to have like way better audio than this yeah so this saying, is like I a bit have, disappointing I have to add that I think there might be some custom do-yourself solutions if you don't want to buy the deluxe uh, version I think you can make some kind of like a cup on a <laughs> on top of this yeah, to for actually sure. cover over and it actually yeah for sure for the sound can I, yeah, here, yeah, yeah. Can I can I wear some some yeah like? No, if we can just try doing like this. What what is this now? What are you holding there? My hands. It's just my hand over. So ah, it's your hands. I'll finally yeah. have some nice ear massage. <laughs> but that was honestly <laughs> much. That was honestly. Don't do this. Uh, that was honestly way better already. Yeah. Uh, so actually, this is like a workaround if you want to. Uh, so I, I I just have my wife stand there with her ears, with her hands over my ears, and that will be better. Yeah, but still, the, the looks uh, audio will be way better than this. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for the demo, man. Thanks, man. All right. So, are we still streaming, or did yeah, we're still streaming. So, uh, I just want to let them know again. I want to talk with them like like this. Yep. Okay, let me come over there. Okay. So, yeah, that's uh, me having tried out the 8KX now with a Seto Corsa because I know lots of people they wanted to see the 8KX with another game, not uh, not just with uh, with uh, the, the flight simulator. So it was running at 75 hertz, like constant 75 hertz um, on that 4K uh, picture on each eye, and uh, the graphical fidelity is just amazing. It's just so good. Everything is right. There's no problems with with, with the scale. There's no problems with the depth. It's just like it's just like how you expect VR to be, and um, yeah, for the distortions, it's it's barely visible. It's way better than before, and uh, wow, it's a really a really great experience. Unfortunately, for the audio, I, I cannot really recommend it to you. I must be super honest here. It, it didn't sound good. It it, it didn't sound like uh, like I was sitting in that car. Like everything else. Everything else um, was so nice and better than the Valve Index. Yes, easily better than the Valve Index. If this had, if this thing had the same um, audio solution like the Valve Index, this would be like a killer. Now the now the audio solution uh, it's, it's, it reminds me of the Rift S, but even I would even say it's worse than the Rift S. Now that I've heard some more stuff, so it was like some uh, some. Um, yeah, some audio, some some speakers which are above my ear, 
I can still hear everything else. I could easily speak with with Martin while I was while I was um, in the thing. So just imagine if I had the Valve Index on with the, with this audio solution, I had no chance to speak with someone else. But it was. But my ears are completely open, right? So I can hear everything, and I, I really don't think this is the right solution for audio. So that's like the, the big the big um, yeah disadvantage that I see here now with the modular audio strap that the audio is subpar. Yeah, maybe it's better in a quiet room. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah. actually, I could tell already. Actually, I could tell already that the, the quality was not good enough. The the the, the motor noise it 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 just sounded like a, no. It's a yeah, it's okay if you don't have like a like a high expectations. Probably you can hear something, but. Uh, you know the thing is you have this you have this amazing headset with this great quality that looks better than everything else right you have that amazing comfort and I, I don't want I don't think you want to have like subpar quality audio with that so this is the big problem of the of the 8k of the 8kx that I can see right now uh, of course I'm going to review it uh, in MRTV studio conditions without any without any kind of distractions but so far, this is the one disappointment, the audio quality of the modular audio strap. The other stuff, it's, it's mind-blowing. The best, the best consumer headset that I've tried so far. Um, yeah, um, do, do you have any more questions? Because we are here right now live, so now you can ask me any questions for about the 8KX. Next I'm going to try uh, probably another uh, Pimax headset. They do have quite a few. So, um, yeah, just checking. Um, is there a headphone jack? Yes. Do you have like a, do you have a two headphone jacks here for, for these? Headphone jack, headphone. Yes. You have still headphone jacks, right? So you can just add another head, another headphone. Yes, 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 yeah. Yes, the headphone jack is still there. Yeah, really nice. So um, there's still a headphone jack. You can still plug in your own audio, which is important. And I think you, you really want to do that. Right, do you have any more? Do you have any more questions out there? about are there audio volume buttons yes there are audio volume buttons there are audio volume buttons are here no problem whatsoever so you can simply do that and players club Yasus. hey Seth thanks for all the CES content yeah you're welcome I love to do this I uh, love to bring you this um, coverage and I must tell you this something's very important I, I paid all this flight here everything by my own money so I can stay independent so I can tell you yes the audio is probably not good enough I was not sponsored by any company this is completely independent reporting and that is what I want want MRTV to be known for to give you unbiased and honest reporting about all the VR and AR headsets so if you want unbiased and honest reporting it's MRTV to go for yeah do you have any more questions uh, how's the screen compared to a 4k TV well it's a sm small 4k TV that you would put in front of your eyes so um, of course because it's so close and then with the lens it's not like uh, you're looking at a 4k screen but it's it's still it's really good so this is the best consumer headset that I've tried so far in terms of visual clarity in terms of comfort audio is lacking quite a lot so this is uh, this is like one problem hello Alexander will the deluxe audio strap feature over ear hovering like the valve index I don't think so no um, I, I have asked them before and hey hey the the deluxe audio strap the headphones they are um, normal headphones right it's not like the valve index they're not hovering over your ears right they are normal headphones yes they have normal headphones normal headphones yes exactly right normal headphones big big ones bigger ones okay okay thank you so uh Oh yeah, okay. Sorry. So I'm I'm too close. I have to go a bit further away from the booth. So the the deluxe audio the deluxe audio strap there's going to be normal headphones. It's not going to be the ones hovering over your ear. Do we have any more questions? You're welcome, Alexander. For you always. Um, 
ATX in upscaler mode? Okay, that's a good question. I think it's uh, 110, 110 in upscaler mode. If you're using it as the 8K Plus. So, oh, and Sweeviver is here. Sweeviver is in the chat. Hello, Sweeviver. Probably you can simply answer that question. Is it 110 hertz for the upscaler mode, the 8K Plus mode? I think yes. So, um, where, where is the Sweeviver? Is he somewhere here hiding? <laughs> um, When is eye tracking ready with the AKX? I believe the eye tracking is basically ready. I'm going to try to track it down here on the booth, trying to find out uh, if I can get my hands on it later. So I believe the next thing I'm going to try out should be the Pimax 5K 180 Super Ultra Marathon. <laughs> I have no idea, but I'm going to try it out. Oh, Sweeva is smoking. Okay, cool. Good. All right, so that's it for this tr stream, trying out the Pimax 8KX with a set of Corsa. I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any more requests, think that, I, that you want me to try out with Pimax, with anything else, um, please shoot me a, a, a tweet on my Twitter account. And my Twitter account is at Mixed Reality TV. At Mixed Reality TV. So um, shoot me over a question or whatever you want me to do. Uh, must be safe for work though. <laughs> and uh, then I will try to make a video for you. And absolutely, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. This channel has been bringing you unbiased and honest reporting that is not sponsored by any of these companies. So if you want the best unbiased and honest reporting about VR and AR hardware, stick to MRTV. That's it for this stream. Um, make sure to click the, the bell button because I'm going to go live very soon again for the next report here from Palm Extend or probably from somewhere else. See you in a moment. Bye-bye.